Ooh, this is a fun level. The Monkey Fest. Monkey Fest. The Monkey's Chain. Keep your combo game strong here. The Monkey. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's another thing. Um, like I mentioned before, Donkey Kong is literally the only DK-centric thing in this game. I guess you could also say the bananas. But uh, to help them out along the way are these uh, party monkeys. Party monkeys, okay. Well, it's also funny you mentioned the bananas as a DK uh, character factor. Um, I believe in one of the official reviews of the director of this game, he, had, he went on to say that one of the characters in this game is Banana. Just, he is a banana? Just or? banana. Huh. <laughs> well, and that is DK's favorite. I mean, why not? So when they say that DK's true love is bananas, it's actually rather poetically accurate. Yes. But, uh... Also, this oh. is the first level that gives you the idea that, hey, you can rack up some really big, like, you can rack up some big boy things, you know, if you're doing it. Yep. Oh, yeah. I got this. Oh. I don't know if we talked about it, nice. what's the point? And it all revolves around your airtime. Yeah, go no, ahead. No, it's not your airtime. It's as long as you don't touch the ground or get hit. Oh. Keep the combo going. I mean, it's essentially the same thing. But if you take one hit while you're in the state, you lose all uh -huh. the bananas that you collected up to that point. Gotcha. And there's not a worse feeling in the world than losing that combo, oh, especially boy. when it's really freaking high. I betcha. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Back to you, Hype, after all that. What, were, what was the flower in the corner? Oh, the flower. Oh, yeah. The flower yeah, what, is flower just points. Uh, 300 bananas if you get 100 flower petals. Okay. I mean, yeah, okay, so it's, just, so, it's, so it's just another, like, quick... Okay, so it's just another quick, uh... Uh, is it's there, just another is there, thing you can do to get more score. Is there much in the way of a tutorial stage to, like, learn a lot of this, or is it kind of oh, just learn geez. as you do? Careful with these rats. Uh, unlike the yellow ones, they're actually a lot more violent, and they will sap beat away from you when they latch onto you. Yeah, they can actually hurt you over time. Aw. Uh, okay, so... But yeah, in lieu of a tutorial, the game kind of lets you go at it with, like, little intermittent, like, vignette videos in between stages that give you hints as to what to do to get, uh, higher scores. Okay. So, like, these little platforms that we're making, banana fairies, uh, you activate them via claps. The stuff on the floor, you, uh, Oh, and, 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 I, and, and I see what you're saying. You could see the party monkey. Yeah, and I see. You can see the party monkeys clapping and take that as your cue. Yeah. It's a good way to integrate gameplay and learning how to play the game itself. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and establish some ground rules real quick regarding my playthrough of this game. Um... I cannot in good faith promise that I'll be able to get Platinums on every level. I can try my best to get as the highest goal on every level, though, at the very least. It's a lot of practice to get all the way to Platinum. Which should be enough to get you to the, like, the last number of stages. Oh, okay. oh yeah, no, it's gonna be more than enough. Okay, so I guess from what you're saying right there, so that, so that, so those... Oh, shit! Nice! So I can never finish to do that. So I guess from what we're seeing happening here, then... By the way, DK can eat the flies. Oh, yeah, don't clap yeah. away. But in any case... You have to be careful with those bees, because if you clap while they're, like, right about to hit you, they turn into bananas, but if you clap while they're, like, still trying to get towards you, but they're too far, they'll just disintegrate. Gotcha. Oh, also, this is really fun. It's stuff like this why I love this game to this. Not only that, but you also get, like, positive reinforcement via the music. Um, the higher your score gets, or, like, the higher your combo gets, uh, you'll start getting, like, more percussion in the music. You'll start getting the go, go, go chanting, and, like, right. you know, like, whistle noises. Basically, it hypes you up for doing a good job. From what I've been seeing, it, it's, it looks really satisfying to, like, basically build a flow. Oh, dude, you have no idea. So, uh... I would be honest to say that yeah, I'm kind of right next. I'm right there with hype, and that it's gonna be very tricky to kind of weigh in on all this hyperactive sugar rush going down here. Yeah, that, that's totally my reason for not saying much. Who's been taking my fruits? Well, we're trying. As long as we get basic information out, we can start talking about whatever. Oh yeah, no, because uh, if you know what you're doing, like this game is incredibly short. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if this ends up being like a five or six part, depending on the circumstances. Fight mm -hmm. the rogue hog. But now we got our third type of boss, the hog. To moon. <laughs> oh gosh. Take him down, quick. Yeah, it's a very angry Poompa. <sighs> but do you know who's even more angry? Me! DK. <laughs> yeah, no, this cartoon boss is on a whole other level. 
You but, can summarize uh, this game as DK has got hunger pangs, he's pissed the fuck off, and he's going to beat the shit out of every living being in front of him. Well, there's that, there's the Congress one, which I still love. Woo! Fuck. I think, ouch. Damn it. I think Come one on. that I just thought of is just like, basically, just the explanation for DK's move. Big trouble! Pretty much. Literally. He's, that's literally what it is. You just... One day, I, I would love this at the end of the, all of this. Some uh, Iki, uh, you remember the one episode from Edit Eddie where? Oh yeah, where he had a pebble in his shoe, <laughs> and it literally unleashed his un unbridled wrath upon the cul-de-sac. Yeah. This is basically that. That's the that that's the battle. I will accept that as a canonical explanation for why Donkey Kong has gone mad with power. <laughs> Donkey Kong in the horrible, terrible, awful, no good, bad day. <laughs> No, no, dude. Like, this is the kind of Donkey Kong I would have loved to have seen the first time Kirul stole his banana board. <laughs> just after all this, Kirul just shows up, it's like... Just watch something awful. Uh, no, not something awful. Something about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I think mean, you can hold in my island? Yes. And then D Actually, oh my god, yeah, Icky, that does sound like it's still like, what if this was what happened if DK, one day after so many years, woke up to find his banana hoard missing again, and then this time he's like, what? And just goes, <laughs> what? Goes, goes bananas. Yeah, DK so, goes. <laughs> DK goes two bananas. So James, in terms of the stages, so I see we're we're now oh, approaching. We I know I see we're now approaching the Apple Kingdom, which seems to be the last in this batch of four. So are th so does this game have what what they consider to be worlds? Yes, there are only four in the game, corresponded by the game's initials D, K, J, and then B. Oh. Not including the tutorial and the credits. <laughs> oh, okay, that's clever. And the fo the final portions of the game, which we'll cover later. Yeah. Probably before by the time we reach the we're finished with all the J King the, Yeah, the J Kingdoms. Yeah. Okay. Well then, alright then. Okay, I need to I'm i I'm I'm somehow needing to take a breath to calm down my heart rate after the last three levels combined, and it's only been twenty minutes. So What are you actually sweating from watching Jameson play with controller rather than bongos? <laughs> oh yeah, no no trust me. If I was with a, if I was playing with the DK bongos right now, I would be working up a serious sweat. Same here. And I would I would have blisters on me fingers! So for Who you so that go ahead, I Ow! Damn it! Stupid boulders. Fuck it, I'll, I'll work it off for now. Go ahead. I... What do you guys think of if, if, it, if, if it ever gets to a point where my, I lose a really bad combo, I will apologize if I if I call if I call a mulligan on that one. That is fair. Hold on <laughs> and, and hold on there real quick. Kiki. What was that you were saying, hype? Who needs ring fate adventure when you have jungle beat? Yeah, dude. Well, no, I would I will definitely say I will definitely say that between the two, ring fate adventure is a far more you know meaningful workout regimen, but this game will definitely give you some anchor arms. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, uh, did you and Icky end up having to find yourself needing to take breaks? Okay, that constitutes a mulligan. again. Okay. Oh boy. I'll try not to do this too often, folks, rest assured. Sure. It'll be fine. Thankfully, the game runs light and fast. That is fair. But I was say, Icky, did you and did you and James, I guess, also t toss this question at you? Do you guys ever have to find yourself like need to like take regular breaks while playing this game to not like lose your wrists? Yes. Oh, of course. I mean, hell, even back then, I I love this game to bits, but I sucked at it. Because you're pushing buttons, you're clapping, you're pushing buttons really fast, you're clapping repeatedly. You're pushing buttons. <laughs> and this is where we actually had the dexterity to you know get the beats necessary to get all get all four crests in a level. Right. Granted, it's not too hard to get all... It's not too hard to get, like, all the stages unlocked. But if you're trying to go for all the button uh, medals, they're not. Also, uh, these dandelions here will be used in Super Mario Galaxy. Oh, no! Oh, no! Go down, oh, go down, oh, oh, go oh, down! Oh, oh. You got it, you got Yay. it. Okay. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Nice save. I hope that'll be enough. Because I know there's at least one more batch I can get. Like, yeah. right around here. See? Come on, come on, come on, come on! Whee! Thankfully, they gave you more than enough yes! of these to um, get to make the 100 quota. So it, it always sucks when you reach like when you stop at around like 99 or so. Or oh no! We got a mini boss. Oh. Oop. Ah, come on, come on. Emphasis on mini. Oh well. Goodbye. A bop. A beat. Oh. Bop. Beat. Boop. And boom. Oh jeez. It feels like one of the more tame beatdowns he gives in this game. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. It is. Oh yeah, you haven't you haven't even seen freaking uh, Storm Hill yet. Oh yeah, that one's fun. Though really fucking hard to get a platinum on. 
and big hip trees. So I guess I'll ask. I was uh, about to say. I was about to say, Logan. Get those things to say. I know. So I was gonna say, okay, James, would you mind like telling me? Looks like a pair of hips and an arm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like, hey. Anywho, James, could you mind telling me, like, now how some of the controls, like, how do you, like, since this game gives you only three buttons or three actions, how do you, like, move around, like, doing, like, backflips and wall jumps and certain movements? Uh, oh boy, it's gonna be a little tough to talk talk about in the middle of action, so Iki, would you mind? Gladly. Also, check out these weird snowmen. Yeah. So, yeah, so, <laughs> it, so, 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 yeah, to, refer, so, to reiterate my question, Iki, how do you, using just basically two buttons and a clap, how do you, like, have most of the control in this game? Okay, so you press the left button oh, to move left, you press the right button to move right, you uh, press both buttons simultaneously to jump. You clap to generate that weird sound wave thing. Uh-huh. Um, and in midair, you press the jump button again to ground pound, or, like, jump off of walls. Also, uh, James Nick, you do me a favor, try running out to one of the slopes. Like, one of the steep slopes. So, like, this one Just up here? Oh, like, oh, you mean this one? Yeah. Oh, I can't do it on- I can't do it on icy terrain, sorry. Oh, well, no, 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 you can do it on icy terrain, it's just funny what happens. Oh, we'll hang out. We'll see yeah, those, the next area. Be careful of those weird hedgehog things. So you gotta clap to spook them away. They're what like the weird hedgehog caterpillars are right. Oh, boy. Nobody wants to chicken monster. No one wants to be in Donkey Kong's way on this adventure today. Yeah. Well, why would you? I I wouldn't. Yeah, I would like just. Yeah, you I, jump I, while you're going down slow, and then try moving. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no, again, it, it just makes a funny noise. We'll, we'll see. We'll see next time. Ah! Oh, it's okay. Dang it! We'll see. We'll see. It. It'll be okay. You know, yeah, I, 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 you're the totally fine. You know, between what we're seeing here in Jungle Beat and all the stuff that Wario gets away with in the Lion series, I'm surprised that we still to this day have never had, like, a genuine crossover between Donkey Kong and Wario that isn't Smash. Alright, ready for some platforming bonus? We almost did. Like, way back when, um, freaking, uh, Donkey Kong Country was first a thing. Like, that was one of the prototypes, like, Donkey Kong vs. Super Wario. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, nope. what were you saying, Geek? Yo, hey. Uh, this is one of two Golden Beast bonus stages. Basically, it's jump and uh, clap, or it's just uh, jump. <laughs> is it? Does this kind of control like? Preferably, these ones are easier. Does this control like? Ah, it's okay. Does this control like an auto scroller kind of thing? Kind of. Basically, when you're have to worry about moving, jumping. Like when you're hitting the right button, you accelerate, but you have to keep pressing that. Oh, so the fourth type of boss, Tusk. Yep. They're mechanical elephants. A robo elephant cannon. By the way, you may notice that lovely little smiling pineapple right next to us. Pineapples. We're gonna need that to take this sucker down because there are grenades. And no, for those wondering, no, they're pineapple nice. grenades. And at least the heart. Anyways, this is weird. And no, for those wondering, I have no idea how we now are in a world where Donkey Kong has tanks. I mean, uh, well, K. Rule in uh, DK64. And uh, rehab machinery, so... That's true. Dude. Oh, oh, oh boy. he's angry. Remember when he used to have a militaristic force instead of literally a gang of misfits? Yeah. Oops. Good times. Yeah, you yeah. can also oh, throw th there uh, pineapple bombs. Oh, oh, I love how you can just, like, recatch the pineapple in the air. It's helpful in a pinch. Does it actually have a fuse that you need to be worried <laughs> about of, like, letting die? Yes. Yes, it does. If it stays on DK's head for too long, it will explode on it. Yeah, and you'll He's notice got him. it starts turning red. Okay. Oh, watch out for those cannon blasts. Yeah, I, I gotta be real careful. Oh, okay, no, I have this in the bag now. Just catch them all in. Why does the mechanical elephant have a jelly thing? Because cartoon. Okay. This is, oh, the same, this is the same universe that has a golden banana that takes you to a different dimension altogether. Yeah. And alien banana people in one of the GBA games. <laughs> Oh my gosh, goodness me, you did it. Let's look at our loot. <laughs> I see you I see you all are feeling as fatigued as I may be after a run. A Yahooie. Which I was gonna say, if it's okay with the rest of you. Just me. I think for the sake of our insanity, we should like try to split these off like for each like world, quote unquote. Oh oh yeah, yeah. no, absolutely. Like we're already at that we're already at the half hour mark and we already beat the first of three worlds. Yeah.
So, you know, now that I think about it, why don't we, why don't we do something a little extra to wash our palettes off? Though it won't be with this game, mind you. Oh? That's something we can discuss off screen. But for you folks watch, watching at home, uh, this has pretty much been the, the land Ooh. of D. Now we're going to the land of K. The Ooh. land of K. Nah. Which features... Oh yeah, so uh, this is pretty much where the game will tell you about all the other undiscovered realms that you can come across. I mean, if you know what you're doing, you can un unlock them more or less right away. Like so. Yeah, I see. see so see. next time we'll be going to the land of strawberries. The strawberry kingdom. The land of pineapples. It's just exploding. <laughs> yeah, it's just exploding constantly. Junkie on vacation there. Then the lemon kingdom. Lemon kingdom. Yeah. Where every villain is. And... <laughs> and the, the Great kingdom. kingdom. One of my personal favorites. Well, now I'm curious to see what comes next, so... And the cool thing is, you can select any of these stages at any time. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's, it's pretty mm -hmm. open-ended. Oh boy. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you all next time as we go through the Kingdoms of K. Go-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Well, now. Take care, everybody.